It's Feedback Gaming. Welcome back to my Min Maxing series as the German Reich. Alright, so invading the Soviet Union here, made some gains in Belarus as well as in the Baltic. Um, does look like Bulgaria has made a pushback uh, in Greece. Albania, looks like they're still holding on to Albania though. Probably tell you guys to go to the Western Balkans. The United States has joined the war. The Soviet Union is justifying on us. Ah, okay. As they do. Get some oil from Romania. Working on those roads again. That's all up to date. Broken. If bunkers in Holland. So there you go. The Atlantic Wall is building a lot quicker now because we've gone for about three. There used to be a few more there. You can see it here. This, they're never going to break into this area. So what I know is the Normandy seems to happen a lot of the time around here-ish. Because what you can do is use these rivers here as kind of a buffer to your east. So if they try and make a counterattack with infantry, they're never going to get through. And then it leaves you to push further south through a lot of these easier to attack territories which in most cases is just plains and forests and whatnot, so you can push further southwards. It seems to happen more often around here, and plus there's some really high-level forts too. Uh, so not forts, uh, ports. Naval bases, if I get the terminology right. So if you hold on to those, you can secure a large amount of supply. Uh, plus... I know Normandy is still a viable option. You just got to spearhead out, really. You've got to land here and then push eastward and westward really quickly. Um, but landing in actual Normandy is not really a good idea because of the forests, the urbans. Planes are good here. I mean, Sherborne's got a decent naval port. It's up to you, really. But um, you do see. I don't know. I've seen more effective landings happen in the lowlands than in northern France. Put it that way. All right, so this area has been secured now. Interestingly enough, this area is having low supply problems. But this area isn't. One other issue is calling in AI opponents is you end up having a lot of issues with supply too. So what we're going to do is we're going to go here, 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 and here, and then here. And we need to get as much control as possible, so just move them all over. So the easiest strategy is to press F3, select all your air force, and just bang them where you want them to go. I don't know, that seems to be the most effective way of doing it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Go here. As you can see now, it reduces their defense by 44% for air supremacy. And, uh, yeah, that's it. Launching a counter-attack here, as you can see. Making a few gains. Nope, overall, not made any gains at all. The downside is when they launch attacks, is they break all your infrastructure. So you got to keep shifting to the top to maintain your offensive. At the end of the day, there's two goals here. You want to limit the amount of combat ability that the Soviet Union has. And two, you kind of want to take as much... Well, one, by eliminating the land which has factories in it and resources... Which, funnily enough, there aren't that many resources here. Yeah, so you're not probably going to gain that much there, so that's not a big deal. Uh, but on top of it off as well, eliminate as many divisions as possible, so therefore it limits their defensive capabilities when the front line opens up more and more and more. How are we doing for resources as well as we need more? Medium tanks. We've got more mechanized now. Mechanizers are really good because they've got very high defense too, so it tends to work out quite effective. As you can see, they're trying to move away now, so what I'm trying to do is pin them in by using infantry as like just a pinning tool. How's our, how's our offensive capabilities here? To river crossing. This is classed as a river crossing, strangely enough. But it, we're not technically crossing a river because we're going around the south of it, but there you go. That's the game for you. I didn't design this game. At this point, I don't understand why we're going up. We should actually be going down. Hmm. 
We don't have as much air control anymore. Move everyone here. Smash them out of the way. There's a big 21 stack here, and that's where I really want to secure. Probably do a counter attack here to try and smush them out of the way to close the pocket. You guys are attacking them as well to try and hold them in place. Moving them out of the way, that's good. What can we research at this point? Mm, there's not much we can go. Encryption would be good, so we get that extra advantage. Alright, that's good. These guys are locked in place. Go here. Clear the pockets. There's a lot of air control here. A lot of planes. Enemies have got close air support as well. I have a bit of an idea how many fighters they've got as well. Usually a good idea to use your submarines here to try and intercept their convoys. Getting bombed by the Russians here, interesting. Those guys have been cleared up now. Supply is a bit of a problem. Repair those roads again. You could build more roads, but... They end up just getting teared, teared down as quickly as you make them, so it's kind of pointless. So we're going to go here. 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 Yeah, two adventurers here. Let's just stop for a second. Go here. Select you all. Here. Actually, no. Now think about it. One, two, three, four. Here. 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 And you guys will go here, 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 here. We'll just get in circle on Minsk and see how it'll do. What normally would happen is you can build a lot of forts in urbans, and there's a few national focuses for the Soviet Union to make more forts in urban. Um, so that way you, they usually dig in. So it's usually better there to get that encirclement penalty. Um, by going around the round their outside, around the outside, around the outside, around the outside. <clears throat> as you move forward and you capture more airports, it usually is a good idea to move your troops forward as well. You get more air supremacy, more air effectiveness, and overall you do overall more damage. Northern France, the invasion here. Here, here, and then here. As you connect up immediately, they'll repel them. Ooh, SS division. This is actually the tank division, the motorized division that I convert, isn't it? How long have they got left? 15 days. Can they hold? There's no coastal forts here, too. Will they reinforce? When they reinforce, they'll start to repel. Yeah, they will. There we go. Broke them away instantly. Alright, there you go. Minsk was surrounded. It didn't actually result in any extra encirclements, which is a shame. This is a good... Let me try to look for a good spot. So 102 supply is good, so that means we can probably concentrate all of our tanks in that one spot. And the good thing too is we can concentrate into Poland's air region as well to do the most amount of damage. What we're going to do is railroad to Warsaw. And then concentrate on repairs again. Working on Normandy now and it comes down to the Atlantic War. We've not worked on Brittany though or Western France. They could land here as well, but this is a bad spot to land because I believe some of the ports here aren't very good. Oh, there's a 10. No, that's tell a lie. Uh, I guess this is viable, but then you've got to kind of deal with the mountains to your east. You have to deal with some of the mountains of the south of France, big rivers too. I don't know. It just overall isn't the best place to land. And plus you can concentrate all your air and push them back. I don't know. It's difficult really. 18 divisions, my god. Focus on reinforcements. I don't know why I've not enabled that. Alright, so they're trying to make a counterattack here. Is there a place that we could maybe try and make an encirclement? This is a classic place to make an encirclement against the borders against Romania. So let's just try that. Go here. Go here. Go here. Go here. There's a lot of good terrain to move through too, so that usually is a good spot.
How's the reinforcements going? So we lost 14,000 this war. They've lost 3.6 million. That's going really well. I know you're probably screaming at your screen right now. Screaming at your screen. Uh, probably telling me to... Probably telling me to call the, my allies into the war, but that causes the game to lag more, so I don't really want to do that. This is a forest, and we're crossing over a small river, so it's causing a, a small amount of problems. But we do have a lot of air concentrated here. We could rush ahead for mechanize, or we could go for anti-tank. Or we could go for the new planes. I think we might go for the Air Doctrine. Yet again, the Hungary would take care of your Air Force normally. But in this circumstance, because it's a little bit different. I think it's quite okay to use your infantry to push through. I don't like using my infantry to make assaults. Because I feel like I'm just grinding my front line and I don't like doing that. I prefer to try and make it as clean as possible by taking as minimum amount of casualties. But that's just me anyway. But yeah, you can use your infantry on the other side of the front line to try and close them off. Oh, we got mechanized too now. Eastern Poland having a bit of trouble. All right, in that case, we can try and to close this pocket. I don't know how effective it's going to be, though. We have to cross into some difficult terrain, and plus the rivers are a bit of a pain too. You always want to be concentrating on where their armored forces are, so you can know when to launch as launch assaults. Be aware of this kind of front line here is a bit of a, a liability too, so they could make they could try and shove the tanks here and, and close you off in the pocket in Minsk. That is something to be aware of too. How many extra close air support have we got? I don't think we have that many, do we? I've got another 200. Alright, gonna go 5 speed. Most multiplayer games will be in 4 speed um, in non wartime, and then 3 speed in wartime, and then. 2 speed in Barbarossa. I barely don't follow 2 and 3 speed thing though, because it makes the games way too freaking long. Uh, I don't find it enjoyable, but it's just me anyway. Are we going to try and go for it? Are we going to wrap around the back? Oh, this is some risky maneuvers, boys. Around the outside, around the outside. Where are we going initially? So the first push is into Ukraine. These are close air support. These guys can go first. Some more close air support. They can go here. Oh, actually, this is all in Ukraine, isn't it? There it is. So you guys all go. Oh, you can't. It's too far away. Um... That will be enough, I think. Yep. Let's have a look at the amount of planes in the air. Loads. So, I think we should go with the assumption that they, the enemy's gone for strategic bombers. So let's just make the assumption. We'll go, we'd will go. we have to go for heavy fighters. And we'd also... We'd also have to go for radar as well. Yet again, as I said to you, you normally have to take care of that if you... Uh, if if hung, that'd be Hungary's job. Um, go here. Gonna make a, a slight counter push against the front line here to narrow their pocket. Killed the port here so they can't escape through the port.
Go here and here. You guys go here and here and here. Oh, there's a tank here that's not moved. Go here. And then we go for radar as well. What we could do is build up some radar against... Because at this point in the game now, you're reaching the point where it's like, well, this multiplayer game is almost concluding a little bit because the war against in the East against the Soviets is clearly showing a massive advantage for the Germans. Um, and you'd be surrounding the tank division. So what we could do is strategically try and surround their tank divisions. I guess we could try and do that. Just to show a demonstration. So there's a, there's a few tanks here. Can we try and hold them in place? Select the tank division here. Actually, no, you guys go here. That's a big province. And go here, and then here, and then here. And then you position your planes here to try and get the most of what you're doing. You're pinning them in place. Now, they could retreat if they wanted to, and they more than likely probably should. But remember, yeah, so I can see this tank division here. It consists of seven battalions of mediums, two lights. So I'm trying my active best to try and intercept them to get an encirclement around them. Remember, you don't want to be fighting their tanks and destroying them. You want to be getting around the back of them and pinning them in place. And as you can see now, I managed to wrap around the back. Oh, the tanks broke free. In that case, we could try and push deeper into enemy territory to try and get it. Very risky maneuvers, though. As you can, I want to look, keep a close eye on this tank and see where it moves to. And there you go, we've managed to pin it in. And then you can counterattack and move further back. You only want to be fighting the tanks, you know, when you know that they're out of supply and then you have a massive advantage over them. At this point, I guess you could do this as well. Now it's just me fecking around now, because at this point, this is, a, this is a push you never really wanted to, would ever do, because it's just way too long and it's way too risky. Now oh, there is a little bit of... Re this is the problem, this, when you're moving over several air regions. That's over capacity. We go here, then here. Always keeping a close eye on the efficiency of these planes as well. See, if they're shown in red, that means that the airbase is over capacity or it's going way too far. So this one's just lacking range, so that's okay. Uh, but these two here are over capacity. Oh, well, they were? They were. Oh, these ones are. So right click on them, it shows you where they are. Oh, they were over capacity. Oh, it's out of... Oh, okay, so it's, it's lacking, um, lacking supply. Which is a big deal in the air. Uh, that's good, so the artillery is up to most up to date now, so the infantry will be at maximum effectiveness. Gonna go for Panzerfors. To try and uh, increase the hard attack of my divisions. That, having more hard attack on your infantry, all it's gonna do is slow down tank division. That's all it's gonna do, so don't... Don't be thinking that your infantry can fight against tanks. That's not going to happen. As you can see now, this is a tricky place to fight because we're fighting over three air regions here. Let's have a look at a little bit around the world. We have a weird... French snake going through Egypt. We have a weird pocket in Algiers. At this point, I guess I could pull off one of these tank divisions and just send them to Africa to take care of this mess. And we got... I've got Crete. Which is still held by the Allies. A few islands, too. And a weird pocket in Albania, too. I really want to clear up this mess. The fall of Pearl Harbor. Let's have a look at their overall navy. Navy, it's 86 ships, just they've took some losses. The US, 130. More than likely, this is a lucky break, and they're just going to grab these. Well, actually, if they were smart, they'd grab the rest of the islands, but this is probably AI just derping, and they've not managed to catch up. That's probably what's happened. Am I at war with the United States? Yeah, I am.
All right, pushing the front line further east again. Remember that this pocket is so colossally huge. What will probably happen is they will get supply within it because there'll be factories within it making supplies, so they'll get supplied anyway. There will still be low supply, uh, but it's be difficult to say how much supply they'll low buy. Um, keep those infrastructure repaired. Yep. We're low on artillery. Want to make a few more of these because I'm having a bit of trouble with resistance. So let's add another 30 on. One offs. And assign them to the big stack here. Yeah, we're not suppressing them enough and we're losing all our factories. I don't want that to happen because we need to hold on to those factories, what we've got. Oh, the landing here. That's a quite a big one, too. Go here, then here, then here. Go here, then here, then here. Remember, these are signs for fallback lines in these locations, so they'll just instantly go back to the fallback lines when they're done. Uh, we've got mutual air generation or air mission efficiency. We're going for the efficiency. It's a really big stack of 20 divisions there. We could always just let them land and then take them back and then they lose all the divisions because they can't retreat. It's always a possibility. Go here. Go here. Here, here. And then finally here, 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 and here, and here. At this point, we can concentrate all our air in this region. This should do a crazy amount of reduction. 43% for air supremacy. Low supply. That's a good way of checking if there are low supply as well. You can just hover over the button there, and it gives you an idea. So don't get me wrong, you can make offensives and gain land. It looks like you're winning by gaining territory. Uh, but the, the truth is you want to eliminate their toughest divisions. If you can loosen their front line and then make them a lot weaker in the long run, you can maintain your assault and keep beating them up. See, they have a lot less divisions. They had about 500 to begin with, so they've lost a lot of divisions. Can we get a, a radar on the go? Build a big one in Normandy, right? And also build a big one in Brandenburg, too. When you max these out, you won't need to worry about... Yeah, when you max those out, you won't need... Oh, we built our Atlantic Wall. It's done. There you go. Voila! It's not as high strength as I would have liked. What I could do is add on to the overall strength of the bomb. These are really high levels. It's a lot quicker if you used to set them to 5. It's a shame that you can't hold like control and you can assign 5 instead of assigning 10 straight away. Because if you hold down shift and click, it assigns all and maxes out, but you can't assign halfway. Why can't I select this one? Because it's occupied. <laughs> okay. If you get a bit of a feel, like you know where they're going to land, and you have a, a cheeky suspicion where they want to go for, if you want to go for it, build all your Atlantic Wall there. But be aware that, that if they might look for a gap, they might look for a different area where you've not put all the forts in. That's why I'm kind of spreading this out really evenly. Alright, these are all assigned to the bottom. That's good. Making sure the infrastructure's all repaired. That's good. The Soviet Union, I don't want to be want to be gentle with them. At this point, it probably would be more effective to just right click and kill them off that way. At this point, you would sustain a lot of casualties, remember, because tanks have got a lot of tack damage and they can do overall critically destroy them, but in this instance. Um, probably using the infantry is better while because you can clear the pocket quicker. Constantly checking the infrastructure, making sure I'm... Ooh, Holland. Refinery is broken. Why? Is, that, is it getting bombed? Yeah, it is. By a Soviet bomber. I have no idea where this bomber is coming from. The Alpine region was being bombed for a second. 
Okay, we're gonna be really weird and wonky here, and we're gonna pull off one of these tank divisions. Kurt student. Where did I use Kurt student? Anyway, we're gonna move this guy down here, and he's gonna clear this Albania pocket. That's when I sort out a few other nitty gritty things around the map. So, guys, at this point, the tutorial's kind of over, and I'm just gonna have fun. Uh, so, at this point, what what will normally happen? This is your normal Hoifa multiplayer game. What will happen is if the Soviet, if Germany defeats the Soviet Union, uh, the game is pretty much over. The Soviet Union has so much industrial capacity. Uh, any attack that the Allies could launch against them, either from the UK or from I don't know Siberia, um, it, it's not going to amount to much. Um, you'll be able to repel it as Germany because you've got so much industrial power. So the game just ends in a status quo, and that would class as a German victory. You could make a navy, but then the problem is the German navy is non-existent, and you have to rely on Japan defeating the Americans in the Pacific. Um, and if they do, great. But if they don't, then invasion of the United States ain't going to happen, and it would make the, multi the game go on for a very, very long time. Uh, or if you want to, you can make a, a game where it's about nukes. I suppose you can let it go on a lot longer, and then you could try and use an emergency nuke to try and nuke the map. But around about 1942, 1943, that's usually when a multiplayer does come to a conclusion, and it's usually over. So at this point, uh, I would say if this is a multiplayer strategy or if I'm just derping around, and more likely I probably am just derping around. So we could try and form a pocket on Kiev, I suppose. Go here, go here, go here, go here. Go here, go here, go here. Go here, go here, and go here. And at this point, you will need to have full air control of Ukraine. At this point, you need to move your air force up. These, some of these air bases are very, very small, though. Try not to go over capacity, because if you go over capacity, you are going to suffer from some crazy penalties. How much is anti-air? I've never even looked at the cost. 2,500. It's actually quite pricey. Forts are 500. Okay, they are quite pricey. So 41% of these bombers are successful. Sorry, 41% of these bombers are unsuccessful. And they have been intercepted. And over time, they'll lose those and they'll get shot down. I have a lot more fire, so in the long run, we're going to win. But they are going to get bombed, and that's kind of a bit of a nuisance. I could, if I want to, do this. Oh, no, 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 no. Do this and assign more. But what the AI just does is it spots that you're intercepting a lot of them and it moves them somewhere else. Actually, to tell the truth, it's not chose to do that. Don't ask me why. All right, we'll assign them all to intercept. And it says that the percentage of interception goes up massively. And they just move somewhere else. In this case, they've gone to Western. So it, it's kind of a fruitless game, really. I mean, in a, a realistic multiplayer game, sure, this could be a viable strat to kind of be annoyance. Uh, but I just, for the purpose of this video, I just don't want to be annoying. I'm going back and forth, selecting and unselecting stuff and whatnot. So I can't be bothered. Can't be bothered. How is this division, by the way? I've not checked on it in a very long time. Has it got... They've got some light mediums as well. So we're going to go for full mediums. And this will result in 56 more soft attack. That's massive. Two hard attack. That's nothing. Two defense. Three breakthrough. All the other stats are quite low. The armor's quite nice, I suppose. This point, I want to run up against the river. I want to try and avoid marshes. But we will still assault them anyway. This is a river, isn't it? Oh, no, it's not. Two thousand planes. One, two, three. Go here. Vichy France and Spain wants to join the war against the Soviets. Okay, so we've got this extra division here. Has it moved into place? Here it is. Uh, I want to go here because I don't want to go over the river. Because if I go over the river, I'll suffer a penalty. We're just attacking hills now, so that's fine. 
And I think we should be totally fine and knock them back. That's good. Here, 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 here. Clear them up. This division is, quite frankly, enormous. So, uh, in that case, you won't need to worry about have, if they've got a division that's good enough to hold you, basically. Be aware of forts, though. You could click on them and see if they've got lots of forts. And they're like, they see an opportunity to hold on to this territory for a long period, so they will do that. Which is always a, a decent strat to do. I want to go to Africa now. So I think I'm probably going to go here. And then... I guess what we could do is do this. The amount of time it takes to plan is based not on the size of the division, but the amount of the division. So you can do something cheeky because these divisions are enormous. Oh god, what a fantastic pocket that contains no divisions. Yeah. I wasn't watching what I was doing. And what I could do is use the infantry to pin them in, but I wasn't paying attention. And that's the reason why they ate all that land up and it didn't actually do anything. I'm going to go here, 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 and then here. We need full control of Belarus. It's a lot of close air support position here. Um... It's only a 200 airbase. I think that's probably been damaged. Be aware as well, if you're oversupply, uh, the airbases just lose all their effectiveness as well. So that's something that's a bit of a pain too. Something to keep a close eye on. So at this point, just keep a close eye because look, you can see they're shuffling up here. So I'm just going to move these guys in to pin them in. Because when they're in an active combat, they have to manually be told to... They have to be manually told to retreat, and otherwise they'll get locked in place, as they are now. There you go, there we go, that's a nice pocket. I think I didn't run it before, I used the infantry to make an offensive on the other side, which works out quite well. Got him. This point, you can go here, here. Skirt across the river. Because if they do try to attack me from behind the river, they're going to have a lot of problems. Running out of divisions now. Oh no. At this point, send them all on Ukraine again. I think in all fairness, I probably should have signed slightly less divisions. And assign a few extra infrastructure. It's best not to stack it too much because it'll take a very long time to uh, repair. Uh, Hungary suggests the reorder of. Yeah, sure. They want Slovenia. Oh, I get Slovenia, apparently. Yugoslav rejects Hungarian demands. Are they going to declare war now? Oh, no. We intercepting these bombers? Yeah, we are. Hungary has declared war on Yugoslavia. We've joined the Allies. And we're at war with them automatically. Gonna go for the improved infantry equipment. Uh, I'm trying to think what else we could do. We're going for radar. You know what? I actually am going to abandon the idea of heavy fires. I just, I just, just suddenly all of a sudden just decided against it. Uh, because we're not really going to take advantage of them. Um, it'd be nice. I, all I wanted to show was that heavy fires do end up shooting down more bombers than fighters do. That's that's the only thing I wanted to show. We're working on the second radar. Yeah, we are. Takes a long time to research those radars. We're gonna do that, and then what? I'll, what it'll do then? God, they've not got a lot of planes left. Have they lost a lot of their planes? Yeah, they have. Two hundred five divisions. I'm 
then the final guy can go here. Make a push against the front line. Very risky maneuver this, because this, this long front line is going to cause a lot of problems if you counterattack. Ooh, the supply here is dreadful. I'm having a bit of trouble with supply here too. Now I go here. Yeah, they're really having a trouble attack. If you look closely, the penalty now is 22%, which I think is the higher penalty. There's a, there's a yellow one, which is 10%, and there's 20% low supply too. Just something to be aware of. Got a nice big pocket here. These can be eaten up. We have a Japanese division here. I think that's a volunteer, isn't it? I think it is. Lost a destroyer here. Oh, it's because we're intercepting convoys now, aren't we? French convoys in this case. Are we done? Yeah, it's cleared up. It's good. We'll clear them up. Got them. Alright guys, if you enjoyed this episode, remember to like and subscribe. Drop us a comment below. I will continue this campaign. I'll defeat the allies. Just to show it for the laugh. And uh, if there's any other multiplayer tips I can throw in there at the same time, I'll throw them on the go. Remember to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Have a good day. Bye-bye.